So Queen of Katwe is one of the best films I have seen, and I have seen a lot of films. Let me tell you why. It is a movie directed by an Indian woman featuring black actors, many of them from Uganda. It has no white savior, which is important, and it's getting distributed worldwide by Disney, which is amazing. It talks about Katwe. It's a slum, similar to Kibera. And the b reason why this is such a beautiful story is because this young girl who grew up in the middle of Katwe slum in Kampala went on to become a chess prodigy, a grandmaster. It's not a story you, you hear every day, and because of that, her entire family's fortunes changed. Lupita Nyong'o is amazing as Harriet, uh, Fiona Mutesi's mother. Fiona Mutesi is played by Medina Nalwanga. She's 16, her first time acting. She's amazing. I'm really excited to speak to all of you. Um, I must say, I'm really, I, I, the, the film is fantastic, and it's a great story. So let me start with you, Medina. Acting for the first time, what was that like? It was hard. It was really hard. First of all, I didn't know anything about being in a movie, being in such big cameras, <laughs> very many of them, into your face and getting ready, getting into character. Right. You have to really work on your body, you have to exercise, do face expressions, <laughs> go through workshops and learning just to was really hard for me because I didn't know anything about chess and yeah I, I think it was really hard for me it took me almost a month to learn all of this right. yeah you did very well so I think that one month paid off very well what about you Martin first time as well oh it was somehow hard because it was also my first time to act mm -hmm. It was hard to get into character. There are some scenes where I had to be like real crying, to feel the pain. It was somehow hard. And to, it was so hard for me because I could always look into the camera. <laughs> it was so hard. Can you cry on cue now? Or can somebody tell you to cry like that? <laughs> Of course, I need some time to get into character. <laughs> well done. Um, Lupita, your U Ugandan accent is very convincing. How much work went into, you know, just preparing you for that? Oh, man. I was working on that accent from the moment I, I, I committed to the movie. And uh, it's definitely one of the things that I love about what I do. And, you know, the opportunity to try out new cultures and stuff like that, you know. And coming from Kenya, you think you know the Ugandan accent because you hear it all the time. Right. But it's not until you're actually trying to make those sounds that you realize that the Ugandan accent has a lot of sounds that don't exist in uh, in my other accents. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so I worked on that very, very, very diligently and I, uh, it was good to be in Uganda and be surrounded by the accent. Uh, and obviously I had coaching as well and you know, there were police people on, on set making sure we sounded right. You've been in two, apart from Trail is a Slave, two um, productions that are very important to the culture, especially for people of color. You were in ex on Broadway, and now with the Queen of Katwe. Why is it so important for you? Why are you doing stories like these? Well, because I, I have the opportunity to make these stories. You know, I grew up not watching a lot of African film. Uh, I didn't see myself reflected on TV very often at all. And I think that is egregious, actually. I think uh, you know, t TV and film are the way in which we experience the world and experience ourselves. And so for us as Africans, as black people, not to have that kind of reflection is uh, it's limiting and it's unfortunate. And now here we have these films coming out and I have some small platform to be able to bring these kinds of film uh, into existence and it is my honor and my 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 pleasure and just really a, a divine opportunity and I, I, I want to seize my moment. All right. Medina, did you hear from Fiona after she watched the film? What did she think of how you portrayed her? Yeah, I heard her today. Mm -hmm. I heard her saying, you know, the only thing that I really had to learn more was chess. Right. And she gave me this percentage of 95. 95%. 95%. 95%. Yeah. And the 5%. The 5%. Five five, the five percent, she's not a dancer. I'm a dancer. She's a chess player. <laughs> yeah. not a chess player. So she said she danced too much. Yes. <laughs> so are you going to go into acting now full time or dancing? Because you are a dancer already, but now you've done so well in film. 
I would like to continue with acting too, but I don't want to forget anything about dancing because it teaches very many things. How to control my body, respect of my elders and not to take things for granted too. And Martin, what, what do you want to be when uh, you're done with school and everything? What do you aspire to be? I want to be a businessman. You want to be, why a businessman? Because I have grown up trying to make some little businesses, like I tried to sell shoes. Right. Yeah. You're an entrepreneur. And Katwe, the area where this film is based, is a very business-oriented place, right? Mm -hmm. So is that part of the inspiration? I think Owino. Owino Market. Yeah. Okay. Owino is huge. I don't know if the Kenyans understand this. Owino Market is like Gikomba, what, five times. Um, do you play chess now? I can play, Fantastic. but I'm not that good. Excellent. <laughs> so this film, um, I, I, I listened to Mira Nair speak yesterday at the premiere, and she talked about how important it is that we tell our stories, Lupita. Mm -hmm. um, do you also feel the same, that like, if we don't tell our stories, she says, nobody will? Yeah, I mean, our stories are told best through our own mouths, through our own um, vision. We understand ourselves better than anyone else can understand us. And so I think it's important to play a part in global storytelling. And that's what Mira has done with this film. She's told a film authentically, passionately, compassionately for a global audience. But you're busy. You're not, you did Queen of Katwe. Um, we're expecting you in Star Wars um, episode 8. Um, Black Panther, tell us everything that's coming. Well, you've said it all. <laughs> that's all that, that, that's, that's See, what's coming. The last coming. time I tried to get you to spill something, you didn't say anything. And I can't say anything now, but I am in those two movies and dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Alama edukuduku, as we say in Kenya. So, um, your gali has been well um, received in Kenya. Well, your gali video, I should say. Yeah. Not the gali itself. <laughs> Maybe we should... One step at a time, you know. One step at a time. That's acceptable. So, why, why isn't there a premiere for Queen of Katwe in Kenya? A lot of people will want to know it's happening right next door. It's so close, yet not quite there. That's a question for Disney, mm -hmm. really. Uh, yeah, that's out of our hands. We go where they say we go. <laughs> and from here, you're, um, you're going to South Africa and you've been doing all of these things. I'm sure all of you have answered the same questions all the time from different journalists from all over the place. Are you tired of it? You trick question. No, it's not a trick question. <laughs> Are you tired? Just thinking about it. I'll never say whether I'm tired or not. I'm, I'm young. True. I can't say that I'm tired. <laughs> wow. Good. Yes, there she goes. Martin? The same. <laughs> Did you coach them before what to say exactly? I'm, I'm, I'm a, I, they're actually puppets and I'm just controlling <laughs> yeah. them now. <laughs> yeah. No. You're also a rapper, Lupita. We saw your video on Instagram. Mm -hmm. What is that? Did you rap before? Have you ever rapped like seriously mixtape in the bathroom? No, I, I'm 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 a rapper at heart. You know, I, in an alternate life, I was a rapper. You in a rap song though? Jay Z name checked you. What is that? Like? I know. I, that's, there's that. Obviously, that feels good. That feels cool. You, look, you look fabulous, and I love this, that you've given this um, Queen of Katwe a, a huge global profile. You look fabulous on the cover of uh, Vogue. For the third time, what is your secret? What do, you, what do you give the people at Vogue? I don't know, but I want to keep giving it, so they should tell me. <laughs> I think that's probably the first time somebody has been in an African um, look with a whole headgear on the cover of Vogue. That's pretty impressive, right? Yeah, and I wanted to do that in honor of this film. Uh, my character, Harriet, wears a lot of head wraps, mm -hmm. and I think a head wrap is such a quintessential African accessory. And so I pitched the idea to Vogue, and they really loved it, and so we did it. And for me, that this particular cover is very, very close to home because we shot it in my ancestral home. And uh, it's really an intimate uh, cover story, and one to see that, that equatorial light on the cover brought me to tears, you know. It's nice to be able to share a bit of my home with the world. All right, and your grandmother, she's a star, isn't she? Yes, she is. She's my superstar. <laughs> I, I must say excellent work to all of you. I think the film is great. I hope a lot of people go out and watch it. And congratulations for the first time acting for both of you, Martin and Medina. We're very proud as Africans. I think you did us really well. And congratulations, Lupita, on all of your success. Thanks.